Hello, hello world. How are you on this 7-7 Sunday? Nice to be here for episode 10 already of the uh, my show, Activating the Witch Within. I'm Tanya James, transformational catalyst, spiritual coach, divorce doula, and uh, psychic oracle. So I'm going to be doing some card pulls today. We're going to be talking a little bit about retrograde and, um, you know, really how retrograde cycles are so for renewal and everything that starts with a re, it's a great time for restructuring, rethinking, replanning, re, uh, charging, you know, really charging our batteries and filling our cup. So if you're uh, watching this live or on the replay, please feel free to uh, share this out. I'm going to share it out really quickly here and then we will get started. Let's see here. Where am I? Da, da, da. It's always great when the video doesn't pop up. Here we go. So I'm going to share this in a couple of places. Um, card pull. So we'll do some card pulls. Hello. Um, and retrograde fun. Yes, retrograde can be fun. Um, it's been really a high intense energy. So there's been a lot of, um, you know, shifting. I just saw a post a minute ago on the Schumann residence is up to a hundred today. Uh, it's just really a powerful time. And I think that the more we, you know, are shifting and evolving and up leveling our frequency and our vibration, the more, um, you know, stuff kind of hits the fan and the more kind of chaos and, um, resistance and contraction happens in, that expansive space. So it's really about finding that balance between, um, you know, allowance and acceptance and also like, hey, I've got this, like having the confidence to know that whatever is, you know, coming up for us that we can absolutely, you know, handle with grace and with ease and with fun and to utilize this retrograde energy for our benefit and really take that time to renew and take that time to recharge. So I do have my beautiful deck out today uh, for anybody who is popping on live. Feel free to let me know if you'd like a card pulled and uh, we will do some card readings. I'll see if uh, anybody is popping on right now. It looks like I'm here solo. So let me share this in one other place. And if nobody hops on today, that's okay. We can talk about a few things and go from there. Hello, whoever just joined. I'm doing card pulls today. So definitely feel free to uh, share this out. If you know somebody that would like a card pull today for, you know, just kind of managing the retrograde energies and, um, you know, having fun with the shifting that's happening and having fun with um, just going with the flow. It's, you know, it's it's so easy to get caught up in our head thinking that we've got to do it all this way and do it all that way and and just really getting into that allowance space is so important. So since there aren't any questions or comments yet, um, and uh, I am doing card pulls, so I do have my deck out here, um, please feel free to comment. I should be able to see those comments coming through and I will pull some cards. In the meanwhile, we can do just a little energy. I'll open up a little energy container here for, you know, renewal and stress release and just allowing the softness of life to, you know, come in. And um, I'm seeing a, a light-filled scroll just kind of dropping down, 
now. Hmm. And just washing away any tension, washing away any stress, just allowing yourself to arrive in the here and now. Hello. Hi, Lourdes. Nice to meet you. Doing a little energy activation right now for relaxation, renewal, recharging. And I am doing card pulls. So if you did have a question and wanted a card pull, just let me know. And as soon as I'm done running a little energy in here, we can do some card pulls. So, you know, inviting this retrograde energy to be refueling, to be renewing, to be refreshing and uh, not see it as this, you know, communication, technological breakdown, <laughs> you know, um, snafus that tend to happen during retrogrades, like not even giving that any weight, but just allowing <clears throat> the softness of renewal to come in. So these, uh, the light filled scroll that I saw come down is landing in the third eye space, clearing it out, washing away the overthinking, overanalyzing, overdoing, just really, you know, clearing out over everything and just allowing the flow to come in. Allowing safety to come in. You know, really allowing your higher self to merge with your mind and work in harmony and balance with each other and not seeing you separate as your higher self. And another code is coming down right here in terms of sharing your gifts, that it's safe to share your gifts. It's safe to own your power. It's safe to express your true authentic self. It's safe to shine. It's safe to be soft. Aligning but doing with being. Aligning balance in inner and outer freedom. Feeling internally free. Knowing your external freedom. Really declaring that inner independence and inner freedom. Especially coming off of 4th of July, you know, Independence Day, really harnessing that energy and seeing, you know, let freedom within ring. Let that freedom to express who you truly are to come into being. And for anyone here who's joining me live, feel free to share. And I am doing card pulls today, so if anybody would like a card pulled for you once I kind of get the energy container building here just uh, pop a comment in that you'd like a card and I will pull one for you mm, and really seeing this energy coming in of, of softening I just keep hearing soften it's okay to soften Yeah, absolutely, Erica. Give me one second. I'm just going to kind of... Doing an energy bubble, releasing stress, releasing anxiety, releasing tension, releasing um, the need to figure everything out. And I'm just going to kind of ask the energy to keep running in these areas for everyone who's either watching live or on the replay. You can see these as kind of like energetic st scrolls coming into your third eye space and just softening and releasing and opening to relaxation and renewal and mm. okay that feels good. So Erica 
Let's see. You are welcome. And I'm just going to shuffle the deck here for you for Erica. So Erica, I got the reconciliation card for you. This is a beautiful deck called the Gospel of Aradia. Um, it's uh, Stacy DeMarco, and I just absolutely love this deck. And this is the reconciliation card. So the descriptions are kind of lengthy, but um, I will read an excerpt from it. And you can also Google the uh, Gospel of Aradia deck uh, reconciliation card uh, for probably the full description will be somewhere online. There is a difference between reconciling and continuing a relationship with one whose energy is unforgiving. Reconciliation takes energy and willingness on both sides. Take the time to heal. Take the time to forgive yourself. Um... Let's see. The belief that one person has to be right and the other person has to be wrong can be a barrier to reconciliation, but it is a, it is a false belief. Reconciliation is actually about finding a meeting place, somewhere where both people can be heard with fairness understand, and understanding can be found. Honesty is necessary to the process. Forgiveness may be down the track, when we have fought with someone or had a long-standing disagreement. It is foolish to expect all the ill will or hard, hard feelings to dissolve immediately. Both people must give their feelings time to heal and their heart bruises time to fade away. So I am doing card pulls for anybody who's uh, joining me live. That card was for Erica. And I'll go ahead and send Erica a little bit of extra energy around anything that may be coming up for you. Um, hi, Joanne. Uh, so give me a second, Erica. So just bringing in uh, the energy of forgiveness, you can see uh, like a pink heart um, rose quartz crystal just entering into your heart space and clearing out any area that might be uh, have some unforgiveness energy any place where you might not be forgiving yourself, where you've been hard on yourself, thinking that you should have known what you didn't know at the time, and that it's okay that you didn't know what you didn't know at the time, and to let yourself off the hook. Uh, hi, Diane. Uh, let's see. So Joanne would like a card. So thank you, Erica. And that energy will keep running until complete. So, and you can also ask for more insights um, during dream time and for any messages uh, that will help you to kind of further along that healing process, whether that's, you know, healing and forgiving yourself or with somebody else. So Joanne is next. You would like cards so shuffling for Joanne. Joanne, Jojo, Wilson. So we have a theme today, it looks like. <laughs> the peacemaking card. So the first card was reconciliation. And here we have the peacekeeping card. And again, this is from the Gospel of Aradia deck. And um, the descriptions are rather lengthy, but if they're not too long, I'll read the whole thing. This one's longer, so I will um, condense it. Peacemaking. Peace comes from within. Do not rely upon others or outside influences for permission to be peaceful. Never make decisions when you are angry or experiencing any other intense emotion. Learn how to ground yourself. Forgiveness is something you do for yourself, not for the other person. And each of the descriptions has a poem. Uh, some wish deeply for peace, to find the middle way. Some may seek reconciliation, just as night seeks day. But others want peace only at their will to win. Extremism binds them. They see peace as a sin. So, um, for, hold on, 
for Joanne, you know, just uh, doing a little energy work for you on peacemaking. And uh, if that reconciliation card also spoke to you, these might be working in tandem with one another. And seeing that, again, I'm hearing that inner forgiveness, that self-forgiveness for you, that it's safe to express yourself and also to not be hard on yourself, that you can commit to a new way of thinking and let go of the overthinking and overanalyzing and, um, you know, it's okay to have high expectations of yourself, but it's also... Um, okay to be soft with yourself and not um, hold yourself to a crazy high standard that, you know, is in the perfection area. So I'm feeling that there's the peacemaking along letting go of perfectionism. So let me know, Joanne, if that resonates or if you'd like any more insight on that, I will ask for this energy to also run until complete and you can definitely ask for some guidance in your <laughs> yes totally you can ask for some guidance in your sleep to come in to uh you know to help with that and to um you know further help move along the process of forgiveness self-forgiveness and peacemaking all righty so next we have lordez you would love a card Mm. Thanks for taking your friend Mal. So, all righty. You pulled the. You're welcome, Joanne. So, Lordez, you pulled the games card. So this card is funny. So when it comes up in readings for me, it's either very playful and it means that I just need to have more fun and play some more and just get out and dance and, you know, sing under the moon or whatever, just to get that playful energy going. It also can mean drama. So it also can mean people kind of pulling you into mind games or, um, you know, manipulative energy. So it's going to depend on you, whether it's, you know, kind of a playful uh, side of the card, or if it's kind of a little bit both playful for yourself and other people kind of trying to pull you into any of their stuff. Um, let's see what the, and that's kind of what I've known, you know, noticed as I've been working with this deck. Um, more and more that when that card comes up, it's usually twofold. It's usually I need to play and I need to pay attention that, um, you know, to kind of, I think the question that, that, that I get asked, um, when dealing with other people's energy is, is this decision or is where I'm going, is this bringing me closer to my joy or is this bringing me further away from my joy? And, you know, playful, fun games, obviously bringing you closer to your joy and, you know, engaging with drama or engaging with conflict can definitely bring us closer, you know, further away from our joy. So games should be above board and full of fun. They should never be underhanded, covert, mean-spirited, or harm harmful in any way. If someone is playing a strategic game against you, understand it for what it is, indeed a game, and, and change the rules to suit yourself. So I think that's the, the highlighted sentence for you. Change the rules to suit yourself. Seek the lighthearted company of others, and a celebration will soon be announced. So, oh, correct. <laughs> I'm glad that resonated, Lourdes. So we'll do a little energy work for you really quickly on just having that aligned, uh, confident choice of seeking joy. Does this, is this bringing me closer to my joy? And if it's bringing you further away from your joy, that's okay too. Just, you know, being able to commit to a new way of thinking and say, guess what? I don't prefer that. I prefer this instead. So I don't prefer to go anymore with what is not 
bringing me joy of what is not full fueling. I've learned that I don't prefer that. And now I do prefer stepping into the joy. I do prefer choosing joy. So just dropping a, a scroll of joy into your solar plexus, really feeling your power center, just build and that you can have fun and you can play and you don't have to participate anymore in areas or ways that um, aren't fueling and aren't for your highest and best. So at the beginning of uh, the show today, I did do an activation um, for just renewal and refreshing. And that's going to help just kind of calm nerves and coming into your power with excitement and also ease and grace, flow and fluidity. And it doesn't have to um, be overwhelming. Releasing the overwhelm is what I'm hearing. We're just releasing all that overwhelm. Uh, so if you're just joining me live, I am doing some card pulls today. If you'd like a card, go ahead and comment <clears throat> and I will pull one. And um, if there are no other wanting card pulls, we are doing a little energy activation around renewal, <clears throat> refreshing, just re-engaging with joy, re-engaging with inner freedom mm, that's nice mm, all right everyone well thank you again for uh, joining me here on week 10 of uh, activating the witch within I have um, just been thoroughly enjoying doing these week in, weekly lives and supporting everyone uh, who watches with some softening of energy, with some, you know, just kind of inviting that balance, inviting that alignment, especially when times can't, you know, feel a little chaotic, feel a little uh, staticky. Um, you know, there has been a lot of high tensions in the air. So just inviting that softness, inviting that balance. Uh, if you want to take any of this uh, information further, definitely feel free to reach out and shoot me a message. I'm always available for uh, complimentary consults. Um, I do custom light language activations, inner child work, trauma release, anxiety and depression relief, um, purpose work, uh, stepping into uh, abundance activations, all sorts of fun stuff. So if you're ever interested in uh, finding out more about me or my work, definitely feel free to shoot me a PM. And uh, until next week, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And thank you so much for being with me here today. And definitely feel free to share this out uh, and let people know that I'm, you know, here every week. And I usually do card pulls uh, or pendulum readings, one or the other. Uh, other times, I just kind of do talking and teaching. So it just varies week by week, depending on what the guidance is for the day. So again, thanks for being here. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your Sunday and week ahead. Bye for now, everyone.